And welcome back inside the DeHornley Center. There's your matchup today. It is senior day. The women victorious over the tough women's Tampa team. They winning by eight. They lock up the sixth seed. And for the men here today on the line, second place on the line with a victory. Lynn can secure that second seed in the postseason SSC conference tournament. They will host a game Wednesday at 7 here at the DeHornley Center either way. For Tampa, they currently sit in 7th. They are 8 and 11 in conference tied with PBA, Palm Beach Atlantic. So this game important for those two teams. If Tampa is able to cure the seventh with a win here, they'll take that seventh seed. And Lim will either host Tampa or Palm Beach Atlantic here on Wednesday. The Spartans are 14 and 13 overall. Lynn, 21 and 5 overall, 14 and 5 in conference. And they are 15 and 1, a dominant home team, uh, having lost their first home game of the season last Wednesday in a heartbreaker against Nova Southeastern, who has that number one seed locked up in postseason play. The Sharks will also host the semifinals beginning next Saturday down in Fort Lauderdale. Lynn is meeting Tampa for the 48th time in school history. They lead the series 26 to 21 with the program's first meeting in 1997. The Knights won the previous matchup on January 19th, 85-81 in Tampa. Palmer led the way with 24 points. Rasheed Worrell recorded a double-double with 11 points, 11 rebounds. And we will have the matchup. We also have Senior Day festivities all coming up on the Lynn Sports Network. Bro. 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 I literally have no idea what just happened. Bro. You're so old. Ah, bro. What's up, girls? How's everything going? Oh, hey, Chad. I didn't know anybody was working this weekend. Are you okay? You need a power bar, power raid, towel? Uh, no, we're okay. Thanks. Okay. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Hey, Frank, can you print that report you've been working on? Yeah, sure thing, Chad. Thanks, Frank. That's got to be double-sided. <sighs> oh, I forgot to print the cover for the TPS report.
There you go, Chad. Perfect. Thank you very much. Palmer. Uh, it means a lot to play here. I want to do a special uh, thanks to my sister watching in Haiti and uh, all my family and relatives outside of Florida. Also, I just want to thank this whole university for accepting all of us and making this a really uh, good time well spent, you know, and just accepting us as players and as students. And I'm pressing a uh, special shout out to Craig Chamlin, Monique, Scott, Austin, and Caitlin. Um, it's just been a great opportunity to play here for my last four years. Um, I just want to accept the university for accepting all of us, just as um, Rashid said. Um, special shout out to all my family in Georgia that's been watching. And um, special shout out to my mom, my father, and my aunts and uncles and my cousins that come to every game. Uh, I just want to say thank you to the program. Thank you to the coaches for everybody that's done everything to help me these last two years. It's been a real uh, changing experience for me as a man, as a person. And I want to thank all my teammates, all my family that watches every game, even though they can't be here. And I just want to say I'm beyond blessed for this opportunity I've been given. I just want to say thank you to the coaches and Lynn University as a whole for this great experience. I want to also thank all my family and friends from back home that's been supporting me throughout this whole journey. Thank you. All right, there they are, five seniors. And now that tells the story here this season. Coach Price, well, he was so confident going into this season. They pulled off that win at FAU in an exhibition match with that, which FAU has completely wiped off their slates of record and and coach price was confident his team was going to win there he said i've got a group of seniors and uh this team's going to be very good and i am not surprised we won at fau well his team has gone on to a 21 and 5 record 15 and 1 here at home 14 and 5 in conference and probably would be an even better record had they not lost brandon bornellis for so many games and great to see brandon the sophomore star point guard back with the Fighting Knights, making his return at Barry on Wednesday. But the five seniors have so much to do. They tell the story of this success. Jamal Palmer, Michael Baez, Daniel Cooper, Rasheed Worrell, and Ryan Peterson. Five leaders, terrific, skilled players, and all complimenting each other guiding this team to such a successful season. And there's no stopping the Fighting Knights now. We'll just see how far Coach Price can lead this team in the postseason. Those five seniors will be part of the ceremony. And we'll carry that here on the Lynn Sports Network as the teams head to their huddle. Lynn will play here in the quarterfinals Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Their opponent will either be the Spartans or Palm Beach Atlantic. So the Spartans, I believe, will head to the locker room here while Lynn conducts their senior day ceremony. The women's only took a minute because there was only one, Mahogany Hall, and she ended up having a career high in scoring. But the men will take a while. We've got five players representing here an all integral part critical pieces of this very successful season thus far and coach price will head to midcourt with all his hardware and jeff winter our public address announcer here at the De hornley center will we will carry his voice live over the lynn sports network and the Fighting Knights all lined up. And there they are. And ready to go. Good crowd on hand on this beautiful day in Boca. Having fun, dancing. Great to see Brandon Bornellis back in uniform. 
Well, let's send it down to Jeff.
Down. That was Jeff Winter on the public address system and Coach Price, Coach Norwood honoring the five seniors. And great, great job, great ceremony. And we should also mention uh, T.C. Allen, Coach Allen out there as well in the pictures. So the teams will warm up. Now Tampa comes back out of the locker room after that little bit extended pre-game. That's what happens when you have five seniors to honor. That's a, a big group. And well deserved. We'll take a short break. We'll be back with the anthem and the start of this one on the Lynn Sports Network. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams, discover your talents, get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. Welcome back. We had the five seniors honored here at the DeHornley Center. Crowd still filing in. Uh, some proud parents here, the Baez parents. I uh, don't know their first names. Rashid Worrell, well accompanied. Coops parents in from Chicago. Uh, great to see. And of course, uh, Greg and Linda Palmer, who are staples here. They're here every game. Great Lynn Fighting Night fans and terrific supporters of their son, Jamal. This is a, a class act. Always great to see Greg and Linda, and they will be missed. Can't imagine coming to the DeHornley Center and not having the Palmers in the stands. And uh, Ken Peterson, of course, uh, uh, another terrific Lynn Fighting Night fan. He's not fortunate enough to live in Delray Beach to attend all our home games, but he's in from Connecticut whenever he can with his wife, Eileen. And uh, uh, Ryan's sister is here as well. Shannon was out there at half court always great to see the petersons here they they can they come here whenever they have the opportunity i know it's uh 
And not always easy to go back to Connecticut when it's 10 degrees in the middle of winter. <laughs> so let's pause now and rise for the national anthem. For the Simpsons game between the University of Tampa and Spartans and your Lincoln University Fighting Knights. Before we begin tonight's game, the Spartans and Fighting Knights has two of these rockets. The main standing for the playing of our national anthem. Well, we're going to sing it tonight. In the nick of time, we have Monica Cadeno here to sing. Now we'll have the starters will carry that as well. So send it down courtside to Jeff Winter for both teams. Starting lineups. Mike Baez, Charlotte, North Carolina. Daniel Cooper, Chicago, Illinois. Rashid World, Bellhaven, North Carolina. Of the standings, there it is. Lynn hoping to wrap up that second slot in the conference. Nova already secured the number one spot. You look down in order, there's Tampa sitting at seven at the moment. Well, this game could decide that seven eight spot with uh, the sailfish right there with the Spartans as well. We'll jump it up, tap. Goes back to Worrell, but a whistle. That'll be Tampa ball. Can't catch the ball if you are in the jumping circle and tipped it up. So it'll be Tampa basketball to begin this one. Anthony Gamble is number one. He averages 17.7 points per game. Lynn Amanda Man defense. 
Warren Ellis digging against Colley. There's Gamble, guarded by Coop, one of the best defenders in the conference. Long three-pointer side of the rim. Sheed elevating for the re rebound. Here comes Palmer. No numbers. Palmer will look for his point guard and found Bornellis. Man-to-man -man defense deployed by head coach Richard Schmidt and the Spartans. They go to Worrell in the post. Return entry feed. Sheed with some space. Goes to Bornellis for three. Good. Well, good things typically happen when you get the ball down low in the post. Rasheed Worrell, an adept low post passer. Gamble checked by Coop, loses his footing, and they're going to call a foul on Palmer. So not going to get a cheaper one than that out on the perimeter. Their feet got tangled up, evidently. And Palmer, who has an issue with foul trouble, picks up one here in the first minute. Now inbounding will be Ibrahim, the senior from Ontario. Freddie averaging 10 a game. Kali, the junior from Las Vegas. And of course, playing with Gamble in the backcourt. Rejected by Coop. Ibrahim with five seconds to shoot. Three-pointer, side of the rim. Coop ascends for the board. Warren Ellis leading the attack, surveying. Palmer rises 4-3 wide right. Look at Sheed battle for the offensive rebound. Good work by Worrell on senior day. Baez around the screen. Long three-pointer is good with a hand in his face. Lynn with two triples early, one by Warren Ellis, the other by... Baez. Gamble along the baseline, step back, fade away from the short corner is nice, and he tells the, the crowd to be quiet. Anthony Gamble with his first bucket. The senior out of Tampa, Newsom High School. Mornellis drives the paint, dishes back to Worrell. Back to Palmer, who drives, hangs, and takes the hit and the foul. Palmer to the line to shoot two. Cooper so active on the defensive end, just repels that shot attempt. Palmer averaging 16 points a game in his senior season. 70% free throw shooter. Jamal. His stock has been on the rise throughout the season. Came into his senior season in terrific shape. Quicker, leaping better, better bounce. But his shooting numbers started out relatively slowly and has just been on the uptick ever since. 70% from the free throw line, 41% from the field, and 36% from three-point distance. Offensive foul will go on the illegal pick by Morano. The junior who averages 12 points a game. Baez and Palmer. Aggressive man-to-man -man defense by the Spartans. Mornellis for three, in and out. A strong rebound for Downer, who's a freshman from Jamaica. 6'9", 235. Here's Downer on the offensive end and nearly had an opportunity for a three-point play. We'll go to the foul line for two free throws. Foul on Worrell, his first. So Palmer and Worrell pick up early fouls. 7-2 Lynn. Two threes, one by Bornellis, one by Baez. Downer hits the first. And puts them both in relatively easy. Nice little stroke from the free throw line for the big man. Now Bornellis missed the game at Tampa. That was his first game that he missed due to the toe injury. We get a walk called on Michael.
So Morano at point now. Comes to Gamble. Gamble for three front rim. Down or over the top. Kept it alive and Tampa with another possession. Morano to the hoop. Throws a wild shot up. Tampa again able to come up with the loose ball. As they reset. That time it was Bellamy. They get good athleticism. Morano 4-3, no. Rebound battle for and tip to Coop. Here comes Bornellis. Behind the back with a dribble leads for Baez. 4-3, good! No hesitation there. Baez from distance. Senior day, Michael has two triples. 10-4. Morano to Gamble. Nothing comes easy against Coop. Ibrahim from the right elbow, that's in. Now, excuse me, Morano. Warren Ellis, left wing, bounces into Worrell. Rashid, quick move, jump pass to Brandon, 4-3, aimed it, and came up short. Bornellis return Wednesday against Barry. He hit two threes for a total of six points. He's hit one here today. Second one was in and out. That third one, he kind of guided. Downer charges right into Baez. That's an easy call with the big man. Baez took a hit but gets up with a smile on his face. He's hit two triples. Here already, no hesitation, smooth stroke early for Michael Baez, and Lynn has the early lead 10 to 6 on the Lynn Sports Network. Hey, Trey, nice of you to show up in the right gear, bro. Travion's been a great addition to our program. He brings a lot of experience and, and, uh, and, and leadership for us. Uh, Unfortunately, he's gotten a little rusty playing football at Northwestern for four years, and uh, he has certainly picked up some bad habits. Oh! oh. Touchdown! Hey, uh, Coach, pretty sure that was a travel. Damn, Stalker, we know that. Do it again. Uh, Demo makes his first appearance. Darius Moore in for Brandon Bornellis. Uh, Demo, you have to credit the job he did. He was <laughs> scheduled to be the sixth man, kind of backup point guard. And Bornellis out for weeks, stepped up came in and did a stellar job at the point position. Demo averaging 13 a game, 44% from beyond the arc shooting. And now a luxury for Coach Price to be able to bring him off of the bench. Palmer to the rim, scoops it up and in with those big mitts of his. Great ball control. Palmer's first bucket on senior day. 12 to 6, Lynn leads. Morano on the dribble, gamble hounded by Cooper. Lynn 3 for 6 from the field, now 4 for 7. Ball scooped up short, Worrell tips it to Baez. Baez accelerating up the middle of the floor, didn't see the defender behind him, but Coop comes away with a loose ball. Palmer deep range, yes! Palmer and Baez have been outstanding over the past couple of weeks. 15 to 6, Lynn. Palmer with five. Ibrahim, jump pass to Downey. His jump hook is soft and goes in for Downer. Downer is more of an upper for the Spartans. 15 to 8. Worrell waiting for movement. 
Now backs it down. Little turnaround jumper is there for Sheed, and he puts it home. Downer did not challenge. Sheed has been a passer thus far today, and that time connects on a bucket. Ibrahim against Jamal. Wild scoop shot. Downer is there. Nobody blocked him out. He is a big presence in the paint. 6'9", 235-pound freshman. Baez, quick trigger with a hand in his face. That's uh, Duncan who checked in. Battle for the rebound, out of bounds to Tampa. DJ checks in for Cooper. We'll see the difference, Gamble Start against Cooper, one for three. And now it'll be Baez on Gamble, who averages 18 a game. Morano around a downer screen, wide open three-pointer right through. I don't think you want to play underneath on that screen against Moreno. 17-13. Sheed has it, low left. Gamble looming, comes out to Moore. Moore in the lane, floats it up strong, and Downer seizes the rebound. Morano to his right, takes a bump, and they'll call that on the drive before the shot. Will go on Moore. Ryan Peterson will make his first appearance here on Senior Day with his family in the front row opposite the bench. Can Eileen and Ryan's sister Shannon in from Connecticut. We'll take a moment for Morano to tie his shoe. Six three hundred ninety pound junior, running point at the moment. Gamble jump pass downer and he slams it home. Well executed by Coach Schmidt and his team as they cut the Lynn lead to two with six straight points for Tampa. Peterson waits for movement. Oral calls for the ball, tipped it in the corner where Moore has it, and he lays it up and in off of the window. Demo with his first bucket. Gamble glides left, blocked by James. Oral surveying. No advantage. Rashid pull up Jay. And that's going to be a foul on the box out, I believe. Baez sent to the deck by Duncan. Brent Duncan, the junior from Atlanta. Trying to box out Baez. And mostly legal until he just kept, continued to shove Mike out of bounds. And that's when the whistle came in. That'll take us to the under 12-minute media timeout. It is 19-15 Lynn here on Senior Day. Hey Alex, can I borrow your computer? Mine's not working. Yeah, sure, here you go. Thanks. <sighs> Yours isn't working either. Hang on, let me see. Swimmers.
Oh, talking about our swimming team, we're sending six swimmers to the NCAA Nationals this season. Congratulations to the Lynn Friday Night swimming team. Lynn by four. DJ against Gamble, out to Moore, penetrates, and kicks to Palmer. Jamal, a little hesitation all the way in, scoops it up short. Gamble out with a rebound. And Palmer's shot was bothered by the size of Downer. Lynn now 7 of 14 from the field, 4 of 8 from three-point range. Tampa 6 of 16 from the floor, and just 1 of 5 from three-point territory. However, Spartans just down by four. Abraham for three. James will let that bound out of bounds. Tampa's out. Rebounded Lynn nine to six, including five offensive rebounds. So Palmer at point at the moment. They like to move more to the wing. Oral hands to Jamal. Was hoping Worrell would cut, he didn't. Palmer right around downer to the rim, and they're gonna call that a charge. Thought Palmer may have eluded Ibrahim enough. You can see Mr. Cooper over there questioning the call. That was a tough one, and now Jamal after that real cheap one. At the beginning of the game where he got his feet tangled up on the perimeter, it had nothing to do with the play. And now with two fouls. Morano jump pass Downer. His jump hook is in. Look at this kid. Downer averages 5.5 rebounds a game. He has 10 points and four rebounds already. Palmer drives to lose the defense, and that's goaltending as Downer, while that ball was going Downer, into the bucket. So Palmer leaves with two fouls already with nine and a half minutes to play first half. Lim by four, Bornellis returns to the court. Marco Downer leading all scores with 10 points. And now we'll head to the free throw line. 4-2, where he's two for two on the day. And this is quite a find for Coach Richard Schmidt as Marco continues to improve, the freshman from Jamaica. Misses that one. Wachukwu will come in to match up against Downer as he replaces Worrell. Also, Coop back in for DJ. Well, Coach Price will match up with his own 6-9 center in Wachukwu. So Devon Colley back on the court. Tampa to, to within three despite Lynn's hot shooting start. They have won the battle on the glass. Warren Ellis drives. It's a defender in the air and then throws the ball away. As you can see, Brandon not quite himself yet, returning from that long layoff with the broken toe. A little tentative out there. But that's the importance of getting Brandon back. Get him back Wednesday, get more of a rhythm here today, and be ready for postseason play. Usually takes two or three games. That's blocked by Bornellis, and he comes out with a steal. Numbers for Lynn. Brandon flying in. Wachukwu is there for the putback. Bornellis hit the deck hard, lost his shoe as he tries to hustle back with one shoe on. Returning from the toe injury, and Coach Price will call a timeout to help his, help his point guard out. You don't want to gamble with any injuries. Here's a steal by Brandon. And then Bornellis got caught in the air here. Wachukwu alertly, and good hustle there by Kenny to collect it. Moreno crossover dribble, now pulls up for three. Air ball. Here comes Brandon, accelerating. Leads Peterson into the corner.
Peterson doubled, throws it away. And a steal all the way in, drawing the foul. And heading to the line is Bellamy. So Lynn, all of a sudden, a little flurry of turnovers committed. Credit Tampa's defense. So Cooper picks up his first foul. Palmer on the bench with two. Bellamine with his first point. Bellamine just 48% from the free throw line. Now Demo departs with Baez returning. And yeah, Bellamine hits them both. Ornelas finds Baez, hangs in the air, shoots it up. No, Peterson keeps it alive. And that is tapped out of bounds to Tampa. So the under eight minute media timeout and a tight one here. Competitive ball game, Lynn 23, Tampa 20. Here at the Lynn Sports Network, we put an emphasis on our interns to work just as hard in the classroom as they do on the courts. Sometimes, though, it gets a little competitive. Hey, you, you just crossed the line. No, no, I didn't. I was right here. Look, this is the line. You just you crossed this line, yeah. No, I've been all the time in the limit. I wasn't out. No, you did. No, that was not out. That wasn't out. Can we get a ruling? Ask him. He's a ref. Ref, you gotta be kidding. I was right here. I was using my mouse. I was in my space. Okay, ref. We need to we need to talk about this, man. Okay. I was right here. I was so using my space. Are you sure? Are you sure, ref? Are you sure? This is crazy. Sometimes you can take the player out of the game but not the game out of the player. Senior day here at the DeHorley Center, and very festive atmosphere for both teams. Lynn shooting 47% from the field, four of eight from three-point territory. Tampa 37% from the field, one of seven from three-point territory. Lynn is just one of two from the free throw line while Tampa five of six. Abraham leans in, puts it up, and draws the foul on Ryan Peterson. So you look at the numbers, and you've, the way the teams are shooting, you'd figure Lynn would be comfortably ahead, but here Abraham can bring Tampa to within one. The damage being done at the foul line, six of seven. So they've outscored Lynn by five points there. Now we've seen that a number of times here at the DeHornley Center. Lynn committing fouls, the other team scoring at the foul line. And the baseball team has made their way into the DeHornley Center. Baez backing down, puts it up, no. And strong rebound in traffic for Tampa and Bellamine. Now Tampa can take their first lead of the game. That three-pointer over the backboard and out of bounds. That shot missed by Colley. But Wachuku gets a handshake from Coach Price as Worrell returns. Good minutes off of the bench for Kenny. Sheed hands to Bornellis, moving left. Peterson, nice bounce pass into Sheed, had it poked away, but there was arm there grabbed by Morano. That is Tampa's fifth team foul. Uh, Morano uh, 
departs. Downer returns. Oral gets low. Left-handed jump hook, no. Rebound gets it back and draws the foul on Downer. And Coach Schmidt immediately up off the bench, furious with that call. So that is the second on Downer. Marco, the game's leading scorer with 11 points and four rebounds. So a big call there. Palmer on the bench with two for Lynn. Sheed misses the first of two. Rashid with two points, three rebounds, and an assist. So Duncan back on court for Coach Schmidt. One for two for Rashid. Two point lean advantage. Devon Colley. Gamble back door. Good help defense by us. Ties him up. Good hands by Michael. Lynn has done an outstanding job with Gamble thus far. Anthony, one of four from the field, averages 18 points a game. They wait for Baez to come around a double screen. Bellamine did a nice job fighting through that. Bornellis threw his legs, and that ball knocked out of bounds by Colley. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Baez behind the back, spinning right, gets the ball back, finds Peterson for an open three. Oh, one drop. I thought that was down. Abraham in the corner. Colley driving left, had it blocked, but there was a grab there on the way up. I guess it'll go on Cooper. Second foul on Coop as Coop shakes his head no. So Cooper and Palmer now with two fouls. Darius James will check back and replace Cooper. Now Tampa back to the line again. Where they are eight of nine. More returns for Bourne Ellis. Limb by one. Moore had it stripped and stolen by Colley. Colley in transition to Ibrahim and somehow got it over Worrell. And Tampa, their first lead of the day. Off of turnover, turnover number five for the Fighting Knights. Baez in the post, muscles it up and gets called for a walk. Turnover number six. Colley works around more and more, blocked his shot. Peterson gets it back for three. And long rebound to Ibrahim. Crowd chanting defense. Ibrahim isolation against Peterson. Bellamine for three. James is there weak side. Baez, quick pull up, yes. Well, Baez hasn't had much space to get that shot off. Tampa's done a nice job on Michael after Baez hit his first two triples. And Lynn Reed takes the lead. Backdoor Duncan, nice catch underneath. Had it stripped on the way up, and they get a foul. 
There's a bucket by the left-hander of Tampa. Back to the free throw line again. Duncan misses the first of two. These two teams, when they played earlier in the season, combined for 50 free throws. Now that was back on the 19th of January. Lynn winning up in Tampa, 85-81. Well, right now, it's the Spartans getting to the free throw line. Lynn is just two of four. We are tied at 26. Much lower scoring ball game here today than the first matchup. Baez has Duncan on a switch. Backs up from 16 and buries it. Went back up by two. Bellamine calling for the ball in the post. Abraham. Gamble with under 10 on the shot clock. Gamble to his left. Charges into Worrell. Rashid never moved. Stationary waiting for the contact. He was just outside the circle in the restricted area. So Gamble picks up number two. And there it is. Caught the end of that one, his second. And we will take a timeout, 28-26. Friday nights as Baez will lead you to break. For 50 years, Lynn University has been home to thousands of students around the globe. They have forged their legacy here through spirit, service, and strength. Because of your generosity, close to 80% of Lynn students receive financial assistance from the Lynn community. For your graduation gift, what's better than extending the gift of education to those who need it most? Alumni Pay It For scholarships make it possible for students to receive financial assistance to attend college. Support this life-changing gift today. I pay it forward. I pay it forward. I pay it forward. Coach Price breaks his huddle. With uh, Lynn cooling off shooting now 44% from the field. And 40% three-point shooting. Tampa is 9 of 12 from the free throw line. Lynn just 2 of 4. And that is how Tampa has stayed in this one. Despite shooting just 35% from the field and 1 of 9 three-point shooting. Baez to his right, all the way to the rim, and didn't finish it. Baez, I think, was surprised how open he was there. Bellamine is low, goes reverse, and she did a nice job there, comes away with a rebound. Moore attacking. Well, Coach Price has Moore and Bourne Ellis on the court at the same time. Palmer on the bench with two. She low right. Ooh, he had the up and under. Instead goes to Moore in the corner who buries the triple. Another assist for Worrell. That is his second. Seems like he has more. Oh, Darius Moore with his second bucket. First three. He's got five points. Lead back up to five. Good help defense by Worrell, draws another charge. There's a look at that three-pointer by Darius Moore. Colley picks up his first foul. Worrell having a solid game. Both ends of the floor. 
Moore, two straight, there it is. Eight point advantage. The combination of Bourne Ellis and Moore in the backcourt is working. Setting up some open shots. Gamble trying to get position in the post. Bellamine comes out to set the screen. They get it back to Gamble. Maneuvering in, bank shot, and a late whistle comes in. And a foul on Darius James. So again, back to the free throw line. This will be attempts number 13 and 14. And you don't want Gamble getting comfortable with free throws either, as Lynn has done an outstanding job keeping him in check. Just two points on one of four shooting. But now able to see that ball go through the net from the free throw line. Hits them both. They are now 11 of 14 from the foul line. Lynn, good movement. More NBA range, bam! Demo with his third. Tay Norwood trying to get his bench involved, fire up his defense. Lynn by nine. Bellamy, bounce pass, and on the floor, a hold in the post on Baez, so guess what? Tampa back to the free throw line as you look at Moore's NBA range. So Baez picks up his second. Cooper, Baez, and Palmer all with two. Tampa now 12 of 15 from the free throw line. Misses that. Ooh, the rebound escapes Gamble's grasp but he loses his footing. Good to see Gamble okay. Moore lobs to DJ for the alley oop dunk. Darius Moore leading the attack. Three threes and then an alley oop pass. Ibrahim. Shovel pass Duncan and it, back to the line they go. So Peterson now with two. Duncan back to the foul line. He's missed his last two. Now well, Coach Price will have to go deeper into his bench with the foul difficulty. Brandon Ellis, the talented freshman, comes in for the first time. Morano back on the court for Kali. Warren Ellis hustles into the front court, calls a timeout. Coach Price will draw up the, what he hopes to be the final possession of the first half. His team up by nine. After a flurry of three-pointers by Darius Moore, three of them. 22 seconds remain in the half. So Lynn will try to draw up a final play, either for Demo or Bourne Ellis, I'm sure. Because Baez, Peterson, and Palmer are all on the bench with two fouls. Moore with the hot hand with three straight triples. So Lim will try to wind clock and then get into their final play with about nine seconds remaining in the half. Brandon running clock, now 15. 
And they'll go just inside 10 seconds. And there it is, nine. There goes Bornellis. Trying to get more on the left wing. Bornellis fading right, three-pointer bank, no good. Worrell's put back was too strong. And that will bring the first half to a close. Brandon Bornellis still trying to find that game rhythm as we look at that alley-oop dunk by Darius James, set up by Darius Moore. So we will go to break. On the other side, we'll have a courtside interview with Coach Price, all the first half totals, and then second half action. Lynn on top of Tampa, 39-30 to 30 on Senior Day here in Boca. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Lynn Sports Network. I'm Tom Blake. Alongside me is Alex Slocum. We go live now as Toto Ghana prepares to take on his fourth exam of the day, needing to nail this one to ace them all. Your thoughts, Alex? Thanks, Tom. It appears Toto has formed such a strong bond with his caddy from the Masters, he even started bringing him along to class. Good afternoon. Thanks for coming today. Today is our midterm. Good luck to everybody. Let's listen in now as Ghana discusses his approach with his caddy. What's, what are you thinking here? Mm, just give me the blue pen. The blue pen? I think the pencil will be better. Okay, let's try. No, Chad. I don't think so. Okay. All right. Blue pen? Yes, sir. Blue pen. Okay. Uh, I don't know. You're not feeling that blue pen, are you? No. How about the black pen? Let's try the black pen. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's not good. Let's All try. Right. Let's go back to the pencil. Pencil it is. Okay. Let's go. What a recovery by Ghana, his fourth ace of the day. The Lynn Sports Network had a big pickup in the offseason netting single-season three-point record holder Pepe Vasquez to his staff. And she has proven on and off the court, she gets buckets. Pepe, can you fill this out for me? Sure, no problem. Oh, Pepe. Woo! This is all right. Oh, Pepe. Yeah. Hey, Pepe. You go this way on your way out? Thanks. Oh, Pepe. Pepe. You come this way. No, no, no. Definitely this way. Turn it. Dude, no. it's this way. Come on, it's not that hard. Chrissy, are you going to line this thing up or what? Golfers. My name is Kevin. I'm a director of athletic communications at the university. This September, we're going to be launching the Lynch. What's up, girls? How's everything going? Oh, hey, Chad. I didn't know anybody was working this weekend. Are you okay? You need a power bar, Powerade, towel? Uh, no, we're okay. Thanks. Okay. Keep up the good work. Thanks. 
Hey, Frank, can you print that report you've been working on? Yeah, sure thing, Chad. Thanks, Frank. That's got to be double sided. <sighs> ah, I forgot to print the cover for the TPS report. Here you go, Chad. Perfect. Thank you very much. Oh, no.
Uh, welcome back. Halftime team's warming up. Coach Price has made his way out of the locker room and will join us with a quick interview with Allie. Courtside and right about now. So, Coach, we've shot about 50% from the three-point line uh, the first half. Talk about the success we've been having there. Well, it's always good to shoot the ball well at home. I mean, we've got guys that can make shots, and we've had games where we're not making, and we need to keep it up for another half. I mean, the biggest thing is we've got to keep them off the free throw line. They've taken 18 free throws in the first half, so we've got to address that. And we've been able to keep Tampa's leading score to only four points in the first half. So talk about the success there and what we're doing. We've done a really good job on Gamble, but he was the point emphasis going into the game, and I think it shows. But you can bet he'll be a lot more aggressive this half trying to score the ball, so we need to have another 20 minutes. Well, thank you so much, and good luck. Now back to you guys. All right, thank you, Allie. Team's taking their warm-ups here before the second half, and we'll check the totals for you. Marco Downer. As you see the totals on your screen, but Marco Downer, 11 points, four rebounds. What an impact he has had, the freshman. Four of four from the field, three of four from the free throw line. He did pick up his second foul and had to sit. So he had those 11 points in 12 minutes. Otherwise, a more of a balanced scoring attack for Tampa. Morano also with two fouls, has five points. The story is Lynn has kept Anthony Gamble to just four points on one of four shooting. For the Fighting Knights, Michael Baez with 10 points. And Darius Moore off of the bench with 11. Demo, three of three from downtown, 11 points to go along with two assists. Palmer had eight points in just nine minutes of play. He's also in foul trouble. So Baez, Cooper, Palmer, Darius James, and Ryan Peterson all have two fouls. Let's go look at some of the first half highlights. Chuku was able to follow that miss and dunk it home. So Tampa on the court and ready to rumble, waiting for Lynn to break their huddle. Lynn does have the rebounding advantage now, 18 to 5. Both teams with six turnovers. The difference has been at the free throw line, 11 point differential. Tampa 13 of 18, Lynn 2 of 4. Well, Lynn's higher field goal percentage has them with a the nine point lead. And already we have a foul on the first possession. That didn't take long. 13 seconds. This one goes on Worrell. So he now has two also. And a quick substitute as. Kali gets the quick hook, and Moreno into the game. Now they have a switch down low. Gamble launches for three. Long rebound out, and that's an air ball. Bornellis runs it down off of the miss from Ibrahim. So two missed threes to begin the second half for Tampa. Well, they do get Worrell's second foul out of it. Brandon at the foul line. Pass back to Worrell. On top, Palmer for three. Good. Second one for JP. He has 11 points. Limb by 12. Ibrahim. Backing up on the dribble against Bornellis. All the way to the rim, left it short. Good D by Brandon. Palmer, cross court, Bornellis. Ellis. 
Brandon has the switch he wanted against Downer. He'll take him off the dribble to the hoop. Still blocked it. And Downer with some words for Bornellis after that block. Morano with the left hand hooks it in over JP. The Lynn lead is 10. Palmer to his left, glides in, puts it up with the left hand. No, that was hindered by the presence of Downer. Ibrahim to the rim, follows his miss, reverse layup. No, Morano a third chance at it. And the Spartans with a couple of buckets in a row. Or Ellis around a Cooper pick. Whirl mid post. Palmer with a hand in his face, banked it in. All right, you get those kind of breaks on senior day. We'll take it. That even brought Gregory Palmer to his feet over there. Lob pass down or underneath, trying to create space, score it, and a foul on world number three. And Bornellis checking that right foot. They don't want to see that. He immediately will go. And hopefully it's just an issue with the taping or the shoe, but Sarah's going to go check it out. Uh, Brandon missed weeks with that toe injury, and it looks like Sarah's just handing Bornellis some new shoelaces, so let's hope that's the extent of the damage. Now that's the good news. Brandon's just relacing that shoe, that's the one he lost in the first half. So Wachuku in for Worrell, who's picked up his third foul. Also more on the court for Bornellis. Baez to his right, hangs rejected. Wachuku is there. To slam it home. Second dunk of the day for Wachukwu. Downer is going to shoot the jumper and hit it. Everything going for the big man. He has 16. Now that's got to be a career high for the freshman from Jamaica. He averages five points a game. Baez in the post. It's a return pass from Demo against Duncan. Being pushed, shoots it over him and in. Ten point lean advantage. Gamble, he's been bothered by Cooper the entire game and there's a hold on the dribble drive. And that is Cooper's third. Whistle every time down. Uh, that will bring us to the timeout. There's the fortuitous bounce right to Wachukwu for the dunk. Hey, it's Lynn by 10 here on the Lynn Sports Network. Good look at some of the crowd, the far side of the, the Hornley Center on senior day here in Boca. Uh, we had Peterson, Palmer, Cooper, Worrell, 
and Baez all honored on senior day before the game. No, Lynn, 49% from the field, 9 of 16 from three-point territory, 2 for 4 from the free-throw line. Tampa, 36% from the field, 1 of 11 three-point shooting, but 14 free-throws out of 19 attempts. They lob into Downer. He doesn't catch it cleanly, but gets it back. Has Baez on him, can shoot right over him, and, but called for three seconds as his teammates were waiting for the shot to go up. First mistake Marco Downer has made today. He's been outstanding, 16 points, four rebounds. It looks like he will be having an impactful career here in the Sunshine State Conference, just a freshman. Baez in the post against Bellamine, shoots over him, in and out. Baez thought that was down. Baez with 12 points. Morano sometime, somehow kept that dribble alive, a little globetrotter move. An offensive foul is called as he cleared out with the lead arm. Coach Price said to the outside official, he's doing that all day. Palmer leading Lennon scoring with 14 points in just 13 minutes of play. And near steer, steal by Morano, but was out of bounds. The 10 point Lynn lead. Coach Price shouting instructions under 10 seconds to shoot here. They get it to Baez, who hands to Palmer. Three seconds, more launches. Nearly hit it. There's Gamble. Hits Downer on his cut and charges into Wachukwu. Good rotation over by Wachukwu, who has given Coach Price excellent minutes. Uh, Coach Schmidt very upset with that call. And Gamble has picked up his third foul. Cooper and Worrell on the Lynn bench with three. Moore penetrates, hangs, fades, no. And rebound tapped around to Morano. Morano all the way in and out of bounds to Lynn. Morano upset with himself. He didn't connect with that one. Bornellis back in for more. Palmer around the pick, elevates and hits the side of the rim. Ibrahim in transition. His three hits the front rim. Bornellis is there to pick it up. Here comes Lynn. Bounce pass Peterson. He's being held out on the perimeter before he could drive. And Peterson exchanging words. And then Palmer getting into it. Palmer needs to back off. He can't pick up a technical. He already has foul trouble. Uh, Peterson got into the action. And I believe a technical has been called. We'll see who it goes on. Bellamine was called for the hold, and maybe there's no technical, which would be nice. Uh, results in no free throws before any shot attempt. The fourth team foul on Tampa. Coach is shouting to move. Ornelas backs up, now goes left, puts it up. No, Wachuku is there. 
missed it but was fouled. So Wachukwu with plenty of bounce. He's got two dunks off of misses already today. Gorgeous move by Bornellis. But again, the 6'9 downer altering shots. He blocked one move by Brandon. So Wachuku will be at the free throw line when we return from, from this timeout. And we will go to break on the Lynn Sports Network. It's a long school year, and the day-to-day -day tasks can be really monotonous. It's a good thing we have the volleyball team to pick us up. There's your game totals. Now Lynn obviously winning the battle of shooting. But look at the free throw difference. So it kept Tampa in this one. Wachukwu can extend the 10 point advantage. First free throw of the game for Wachukwu. And he rims it out. No, Lynn just two for five from the free throw line. Nine of 18 from three-point territory. And Wachukwu hits the second. Wachukwu, 75% free throw shooter on the season. Morano to the baseline, hangs and flips it up from Ibrahim, but he was out of bounds. No room in that packed corner on the far side. Bornellis checking with Coach Price as to what play he wants. Eleven point spread. It goes to Baez. Baez hard left, goes back to the right hand and scores it. Terrific one-on-one -on -one player. Baez now with 14. He and Palmer both have 14. Moore has 13. Gamble draws the foul. Count it also. And Gamble to the line for the three-point play. Look at that move by Baez. They charge the foul to Cooper, and the bench says, wait a minute, Coop's sitting right here on the bench. Well, they meant 22, not 23. The three-point play for Gamble. Lead back to 10. They're going to correct that. Charge Wachuku with a foul. Yeah, full court pressure surprises Lynn a little bit. Well, they get into Bornellis. Hustles into the forecourt. Same play. They go Baez in the post again. He's got Ibrahim on him. And an offensive foul on Palmer? Or on Bornellis? Away from the ball. I didn't see that. A uh, turnover gives it to Tampa. Uh, just connected on a three-point play. 
Good help by Wachuku. Gamble wants to take him. Goes hard right all the way and lost it. And a foul called on Wachuku. And Rashid Worrell hops over to the scores table to check back in. The gamble misses that one. So Tay Norwood gives Wachuku a high five. Gamble hits one of two. He now has eight points. Brandon beats Ibrahim. They go to Baez again in that same spot. Working against Bellamine. Finds World cutting to the hoop for the slam. Great find by Baez from his post position. Abraham turns, fades, misses. Sheed able to get the rebound and then throws the outlet pass away. Morano 4-3. Rebound Bornellis. Out of the pack with numbers. Bornellis glides in and can't finish it. Morano back the other way. A little step through. Taken away by Worrell. Picked up by Palmer. Here comes Palmer. Don't get in front of him. And over the back, Peterson on the rebound. Jamal usually puts that down. So hard to stop in transition. Jamal upset with himself. Here's that look from Baez to Worrell. As we head to break, 54-43, Lynn. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams. Discover your talents. Get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. One upcoming for Duncan. He's three of six from the free throw line today. Three points, three rebounds. Misses the front end, and Rashid pulls the rebound. He is ninth of the day to go along with five points and three assists. Baez calling for it. Catches a little further away than he wanted. And is held on the floor by Tyler Wilson, who's in the game to guard Baez. Wilson, an exuberant defender since coming off the bench. 6'4", sophomore from Raleigh, North Carolina. Palmer to his right, all the way to the bucket. Yes, and one. And Jamal gives the... Kid is doing the mop work, a high five. I love it. Fourth foul on Moreno. Palmer one for two from the free throw line today. He has 
a game high 16 points. Ian Downer both have 16. Baez has 14. And now Jamal Palmer, the high man with 17. He averages 16 a game. Gamble from NBA range and stay here a foul on Lynn. As Duncan was able to get in there for rebounding position. Fourth foul on Worrell. So Cooper will come back with his three fouls and replace Worrell, who has four. Well, Duncan back to the free throw line, where it's three of seven and now four of eight. Tampa, 17 for 24 from the free throw line. Bellamine checks back in. Bellamine is out of the Congo. And went to Miami Dade College. Yeah, that's going to be a foul on Bellamy. And it was contact all the way through as Baez tried to get to the right side of the court. And Bellamy in his path. That's one thing if you're stationary, but he kept moving with Mike. So it was an easy call for the officials. So Lynn in the bonus. Baez with a one and one. Eighty-two percent free throw shooter. Baez delivers and hits. Baez now with fifteen. He averages seventeen and a half points per game. He is fifth in the conference in scoring. Gamble just ahead of him at seventeen point seven. Morano, left-hander, turns back right. His pass intercepted by Palmer. Moore, crossover dribble, and he crossed Ibrahim up, who reached in and fouled. No more to the line. This is another one and one Demo with 11 points. Three triples at three in a row at the end of the first half. So Lynn now six of nine from the free throw line. On senior day, they now have 38 out of the 61 points. They credit the czar with that stat, David Zarlinski. In the corner, Ibrahim rejected by Cooper, his second block. Gamble, jump stop, ran into Cooper and then puts it in. Cooper turns to the official and says, what about that? Well, the contact was made with the ball by Gamble, so thus uh, probably an appropriate no call. And there's a hold in the post. That's going to go on Bellamy, and he had his Arms wrapped up. There's a the block by Coop. So now it's double bonus time. Baez will head back. Uh, Baez, he's a tough guy to guard because so good in the post. They can go left or right. So Baez, three straight free throws. He now has 17 points right on his average. Make it 18. Sixteen point advantage.
Good catch by Bellamine, and somehow he got that shot to go while drawing the foul. The third on Baez. Bellamine to the free throw line. Two for two, now two for three. Tampa, 16 of 23 as a team. So nearly half their points from the free throw line today. Baez against Bellamine. Thinking about the three. And it gets called for a walk. That is turnover number nine for Lynn. Tampa has 10. Under nine minutes to play. Lynn by 14. Ooh, Coop read that one, got a piece of it. But I couldn't make the steal cleanly off of the gamble pass. Cooper, savvy player. One of the best defenders in the conference, maybe the best. Ibrahim. Morano, three-pointer fading right. And we're going to stay here. That will go on. Tampa. Nope, we'll go the other way. Okay, that will go on Bellamine. Uh, he was holding Baez, I think. He had a hook. And Baez will beat everybody down the floor and walk to the foul line. So Bellamine in quick foul trouble here. He's picked up three over the past couple of minutes. Baez fourth in the conference in made free throws with 117. And now we make it 118. Lynn in the double bonus and one more Friday night foul and Tampa will be in the double bonus. Baez knocks it down. Gamble working on Palmer. Cooper has him on the switch. Abraham a lane to the rim. A nice little gather there. Say Norwood asking for movement. Palmer shoots the three in and out. I don't know if that's the shot the coaching staff wanted there. Ibrahim works on Peterson. Good dig by Ryan. Comes up with a steal. Baez, 4-3. Yes. Oh, that stroke is so pretty today. Baez with his third. All pull up, couple in transition, 17 point advantage, the largest of the game. They lob to Bellamine who puts it in. The last time we played Tampa, we led by 21. Ended up, Tampa had a furious comeback in that one. That lob pass deflected by Ibrahim and collected by Duncan. And that'll be a foul on Moore, a blocking foul. So gamble to the line to shoot two. That'll bring us to the under eight minute media timeout. Baez knocking down another three.
Bro. 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 I literally have no idea what just happened. Bro. You're so old. Ah, bro. Teams back on the court. It'll be Gamble at the line where he's four of five today. Lynn has done an outstanding job on Anthony. He's three for eight from the field, over for four from beyond the arc. Well, I'm surprised Downer hasn't been back in this game. I guess Coach Schmidt figuring he needs more up tempo three point shooting at this point with his team down by 14 and 640 to play. But Downer has been the upside for this team. 16.6 rebounds in 18 minutes of play. Palmer calling for Bornellis. He has it with 10 seconds. Baez floats one up with the right hand and banks it in. Ambidextrous is Baez. Gamble loses the ball out of bounds. Turnover Tampa. Their 13th of the game. Lynn has 10 miscues. Tampa 1 of 15 from three-point land. And on the flip side, Lynn 10 of 20. Lynn second in the conference in three-point shooting on the season. Lynn by 16 points. And they're going to call that a charge. I mean, that's that's a tough call there. And Coach Pricey, they're claiming, you know, there's an official right next to the play. He didn't make the call. But the, the official way underneath blows the whistle. I can't really tell from that angle, but the defender is definitely moving. I guess he's claiming he dug his shoulder into him. No, so Palmer, that's his third. Nice pass from Ibrahim. And Duncan, with his strength, able to control it and score the bucket. Oral has four fouls, but he's coming back to the scorer's table. I was talking to Mr. Palmer during halftime. He said Brandon Bornellis is coming back from the injury. There's the floater. What a shot. Pretty shot by Brandon. He was still trying to get that, find that rhythm. He said he was very tired after the Barry game Wednesday in his first game of action back from injury. Uh, it's tough. You're out with a lower leg injury. It was a toe, but you know, you're unable to really keep condition. You can't run. I'm sure they try to simulate, simulate it with maybe activities in the pool or on the bike, but uh, it's a different ball game. Moreno to the line. He has nine points. Five rebounds. Oral for Wachukwu. Wachukwu's had a nice game off of the bench. Five points, four rebounds. Gets the rebound. I think there was an inadvertent elbow there caught by the Tampa player from Rashid. 
And Coach Schmidt up discussing this with the official. It is downer. And there's, there's no replay to review whether there's a flagrant foul here. So they're just going to play on. And Coach Schmidt upset with that. Lauren Ellis bounces to Baez. Win by 15 in command here. Four and a half minutes to play. Baez for three, everything going. Big smile on his face. Fourth tray of the day. 26 points for Baez on senior day. He and Palmer both played like first team all Sunshine State Conference players over the past couple weeks. And both of them are going to have a good case to make that first team. Lim a wine clock. Baez will take another one. Why not? Yes. This 10th 20 point game of the season. He now has 29. 31. That's the updated. Downer down on the floor, hustling. In the corner, wide open three. Gamble can't knock it down. Downer dunks it down. Well, oh, Baez back to Bornellis, straight on three. In and out, Worrell battling and dunks it home. Listen to the crowd. Foul will go on Bornellis. Party time here on Senior Day in the DeHorley Center. All smiles for the Lynn Friday Knights. As they lead by 19 points with two and a half minutes to play. We'll take our final media timeout here on the Lynn Sports Network. It's a long school year, and the day-to-day -day tasks can be really monotonous. It's a good thing we have the volleyball team to pick us up. Yeah! 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 Crowd giving the team a big round of applause as they come back on the court. It's a festive senior day. Great atmosphere again here, as it has been all season long here in the DeHornley Center. And uh, this, we have been treated uh, by this basketball team who will now move to 16-1 and at home this season. Colley hits a free throw, only a second point today. Marco Downer. With 20 points leading the way for Tampa. Came in averaging five a game. 31 for Michael Baez. Palmer has 17. Demo with 13. So Coach Price going to get some subs in the game. With a 17-point lead and two and a half minutes remain. So we've got... 
The end of the game comes Javon Taylor and a standing ovation for the seniors coming to the bench. Javon Taylor in the game. This is Javon with the ball here. Beautiful pass to Achukwu, and he has his third dunk of the day. We also have Gibson Lewis on the floor, number 11. Lewis makes the steal and sends it back to Brandon Ellis. Hunter Parrish also into the game. Ooh, alley-oop try, Ellis to Wachukwu. Well, that would have brought the house down. A couple of substitutes for Tampa. Into the game, uh, number four is Zach Patterson, along with number 12, John Whitaker. And also number 22, well, Brent Duncan still, he's been out there. No more fouls, guys. Come on. They call it on Parrish. A little wraparound reach with a minute 50 to go. Come on. 82-63. Collie's had a bit of a rough day. He averages 10 a game, the junior from Las Vegas. And 0 for 3 from the field. He has three points now. Parrish has it, Wachukwu in the post. Oh, tried to throw it back to uh, Javon Taylor. And three-pointer drain. That, Brandon Baker hit that off of the bench. Baker, a sophomore from Texas. Hunter Parrish on the baseline. Gibson passed on the three. The bench wanted him to take it. Gibson between the legs. He wants this ISO instead. Lean in, shoot it up and in. Big smile for Gibson. How about that? Gibson Lewis. Cowley hits a three. Gibson Lewis going one-on-one, -on -one, get it back to him. He's a junior from Delray. And the crowd loves it. But Jamal Palmer getting a kick out of that. Gibson's probably his buddy, both from Delray. So Lynn's going to host Palm Beach Atlantic here on Wednesday night at 7 in the quarterfinals of the Sunshine State Conference basketball tournament. Brandon Ellis hits one of two free throws. And remember, Palm Beach Atlantic beat Lynn up in West Palm the last time these two faced. Get it to Ellis. He's going to bring the house down with a big dunk. But they couldn't get him the ball. They poke it through again. Parrish has it. Tried to get it to Brandon because he is the high jump champ out of the state of Illinois. Uh, 12 seconds. Ellis the rebound and that will wrap it up. The Lynn Fighting Knights. Standing ovation for this team on the final home game of the season until postseason play on Wednesday. But senior day and uh, just an outstanding performance by this team. Good battle from a competitive Tampa Spartan team under head coach Richard Schmidt. Well, coach Price will come up and join me for the postseason post. Uh, game interview. We'll also have our player of the game and it'll be one of the seniors. They were all outstanding but it'll probably be Michael Baez. But we'll see who Abby grabs down there. Coach Price coming up. But fans 
Definitely come out Wednesday night and support this team in the Sunshine State Conference Tournament on Wednesday against Palm Beach Atlantic. As we would like to have a full house rocking for your fighting nights. And Jamal Palmer appears to be our player of the game as Jamal is down with Alley. Thanks, guys. So, Jamal, this was your last home regular season game as a fighting night in the last four years. Talk about the motions that are going through your head right now. Um, you know, <laughs> you know, I was just thinking the other day, you know, it feels like I was just a freshman all over again. And, you know, just to leave it out on the floor tonight, and, you know, look at the outcome of the score and everything, you know, it feels good. You also scored 17 points tonight. So talk about your personal performance. Um, you know, I, I got to leave it up to my coaches and my teammates put me in a great position that's what all it was we could just clinched second place so talk about what that means for the playoffs and what we're really going to focus on this week going into postseason um that, that's good for us you know we just got to come in next week practice hard and, you know leave it all on the floor well thank you so much and congratulations Thanks. now back to you guys now, that was great is that mahogany hall on senior day and, and brian walker uh, photo bombing Jamal Palmer. I don't even think Jamal saw him, Coach. I don't think he did either. Uh, what a senior day it was for your kids, Coach. Uh, could, could you have scripted it any better here yeah. today? Yeah, I was really happy for those guys. It was good to finally get a win where we can actually sit there and have some other guys get the opportunity <laughs> to play. I felt bad for them all year. You know, those guys work hard every day in practice, and as you know, all our games have been so darn close, but it was good to see us build a lead and, and, and not let them back in it and pull away and uh, just a really good effort by our basketball team. Well, Michael Baez, he ends up finishing with 31 points. I mean, he just seems to have such a great feel right now, with particularly with his outside jumper. The rim is very big for him right now. I mean, <laughs> Let's and, hope it continues. Right? I'm, I'm smart enough to see that. That's why we run a lot of isos and things like that. He made a couple nice passes out too. Made a good pass to Sheet for a dunk out of iso on the baseline. So um, yeah, he's a talented player. It's a, a, good, a good effort by everybody. I thought our energy on the bench was really good, and um, that Tampa team is a, is a talented team. I mean, yeah. a lot of people, they've won they've won four of the last five, and the only loss was to Nova in overtime. So, wow. Yeah, I knew we had a tough team coming in here, and I told our guys that, and I thought we responded really well. Yeah, they've got some good athletes. What did you think of the six nine center Downer? Well, he's a freshman. Yeah. And last game he had eleven blocks. Wow. And and uh, he had a triple double, eleven blocks, and I think eleven, re 19 rebounds, and eleven points. He he's going to be a very good player. He's going to be he's going to be tough to handle for the next few years. Oh that's, yeah. That's for darn sure. But again, they have a talented team, and you know credit to our guys for not letting him get back in the game. Well, Brandon Bornell is trying to get his rhythm back. How difficult is it for the point guard? He's been out a while to get that feel back. I think it's tough. I, I think it's tough. You know, I wanted. We put Brandon back in the lineup because I never like to punish kids for getting hurt. Brandon was starting at point guard for us. He got hurt. He's healthy again. And, and uh, you know, Demo is so good about it because he's such a mentally tough kid. He doesn't, it doesn't matter to him if he starts or not. He knows he's going to get his minutes. So it's good to have Brandon back. It's going to take some time. I thought it's, he definitely showed some rust against Barry, and I, and I thought a little bit again today too. But, yeah. uh, you know, he'll, he'll get back into it. And, you know, what's really important is our team is playing well. It's coming off a win like this going into the tournament. I think it's always important to be playing well going into the conference tournament. Well, you honor five seniors here today. What has their leadership and their career meant to the Lynn program uh, and to you? A lot. I mean, just tremendous, tremendous leadership both on and off the court. I mean, I don't ever have to worry about these guys. They just take care of their business and do what they have to do. And, you know, they, they do a good job in the classroom and, and just been really good leaders and ambassadors you know, on and off the floor for our program. And we're, we're definitely going to miss him. I hate to hate to lose so many at one time. Yeah, <laughs> losing true. a lot of guys at once. But, you know, uh, hopefully we're not done yet. We've got a lot more basketball to play. You get a nice performance off of the bench. Of course, Demo gave you solid moments. Three big threes in the first half. Wachuku came in, gave you some offensive rebounds, some dunks, energy. He did. We thought it would be a good game for Kenny to play because of their big kid inside. He could get in there and bang around and use his length a little bit. And I thought he did a good job. Demo broke the game open really in the first yeah. half with those threes and saved, saved us when we were struggling a little bit. And he gets going. As you know, he can really shoot the ball well. All right, Wednesday night we got Palm Beach Atlantic coming here. And, uh, it was is that, that for sure? Yeah, that was okay. just uh, that is a dangerous team. They beat you up in West Palm. And we saw them here at home a long time ago. It seems like last year by now. That was way back to begin this conference season. But uh, what will you have to prepare for against that team? Well, like you said, they're dangerous. I mean, every team in this league is dangerous. But yeah. uh, Dave, Dave Balls does a great job with them, and, and they'll come in ready to play. Again, they're a talented team. I mean, they've got good guards. they got a couple bigs inside. And they're really the only team this year 
that solidly beat us. You know, all our games, our other losses. I mean, Nova at the buzzer and over by four, Florida Southern in overtime, yeah. and we only have five losses. And there, our one loss to them was a solid loss. They beat us by 11 points over there. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, we beat them, I think, 16 here early in the season. But again, yeah. that was way back Long in November. Time. So yeah. um, we're going to have to come ready to play, no doubt. We'll, we'll take tomorrow off, and then we'll start preparing. We're really in the same routine because we play again on Wednesday. And uh, we'll expect a, a great game from them. we got to be ready to answer. You think your players are looking forward to that opportunity to play them again, having lost up there? Yeah, I don't think there's any question. Yeah. I mean, it's a local rival game, too, and our guys know that. And I, right. I think we'll be ready to play. We've shown up here at home and, and, and played pretty well, as you know, at 16-1. So yeah. <laughs> we've been pretty good. So I like our odds, but, again, you got to show up and you got to play. And these guys, they got to show up and uh, play against a good team. Okay, Coach, congratulations. Thanks, Thanks again. We'll see Appreciate you Wednesday. It. Okay, Lynn Fight and I to win it on senior day. And a uh, fun game to watch, really, as a, a Lynn Fighting Night fan, at least. I don't think if you're a Tampa fan, it was all that much fun. But they were competitive and a great performance from their freshman center, Downer. Uh, Lynn wins at 31 points for Baez and uh, improved to 16-1 here at home. 22-5 overall, 15-5 in conference play. Let the postseason begin Wednesday night. Join us here at the DeHornley Center if you can. If not... Of course, we will have all the coverage for you on the Lynn Sports Network. So for Frankie Mendez, the czar, and all the Lynn Sports Network crew, I'm Ari Shanock. Have a great weekend, everybody.